hustle, trap. I hustle, trap. I hustle, trap. I hustle, trap. Bust the record, get two back. And this hub will go, call me two pack. I'm a nut, use a blue sack. You had your chance, but you blew that. H22C, H8ADHD. Uh-huh. Somewhere along the road came asthma. B2 out of three, it ain't face me. For those who think I had it safely, huh? you hella mistake. Hey, how are y'all doing today? So, stop. the light is in balance right now because I got the door open. I let my dog. I've been looking for this motherfucker. My love, my dog. I call everywhere. And I heard some noise earlier when I was either, excuse me, uh, like getting, as you can see, I'm shining. You know, so not just because, you know, my personality, you know, my good looks and everything. You know what I'm saying? I'm about popping hair. It ain't just that. You know what I'm saying? It's um, Shay Shay Bakery. You know what I'm saying? I've been using their stuff, you know what I'm saying? All over, you know what I'm saying? Like, as men, we got to break down that barrier of machismo that says we can't take care of ourselves. But that's why a nigga shining right now. You know what I'm saying? On top of everything else, my great music and everything. But you know what I'm saying? I'm so modest. <laughs> but <clears throat> um, on top of that, it ain't just that. It's the door is open right now. And I tried to let him out. Because he finally came out of my parents' room. This motherfucker had me thinking somebody, like, maybe came and, uh, like, one of my mom and dad. See, now he there at the door. And he going to want me to get up and get up the door and make him not wait. You little asshole. But, yeah, um, he made, he was, he, it took, and I went in their room and looked for him. It took so long for me to find him. I'm starting to think somebody did kidnap my damn dog while I was taking a shower and doing all my shit. Don't look at me like that. You should have brought your ass in here. Let me be right back because he whines and he'll start scratching it though. Then, plus, I done just started this video and I know it ain't gonna be no short one, so I'll be right back, y'all. Let me just give me one moment. You asshole. Okay, I'm sorry I didn't do this. I love you. I love you. I'm sorry to do this. But you got to go in here real quick. Okay, watch out. You be good. Hell, you was just spending all your time in there when I was looking for your ass. Thank you. Asshole. All right, okay, so I'm back now. Um, Y'all remember he has a coughing problem, and I had to throw him in a room right now. He'll be okay. He made me wait to find him, so he'll be okay. But yeah, um, all right. So let's start with the future situation, because I don't think that was going to take as long. I already know how I feel on it. But for those of y'all who don't know, let me read this real quick to y'all. All right. This is Pitchfork.com. That's the site that I'm reading this article from. If y'all need any more reason, you know what I'm saying? I did my video on black dysfunction. And if y'all need any more reason to cut this motherfucker off, let me give y'all some more. All right. Future on R. Kelly. Stop talking about it. It'll go away. His quote, when you give things too much attention, they blow up. Future was interviewed today on Los Angeles Power 106 station, radio station. At one point, host Jay Cruz asked the rapper if he would ever collaborate with R. Kelly again following their 2012 Pluto collaboration parachute. He said, man, who is that? I thought we had forgot about that. We giving it too much attention, you know what I'm saying? When you give things too much content uh, attention, they blow up. That's why he gonna blow up. That's why his music gonna do what it did. Cause y'all keep talking about it. Stop talking about it, it'll go away. When asked if there was a sense of fake outrage surrounding Kelly, Future said, I don't know what it is. There are t there's just too many people talking about it. You know what I'm saying? Behind the scenes, there's supposed to there's supposed to be things done how they're supposed to be done. What the fuck? Stop giving it negative attention. Attention. Okay, so the drugs is getting to him. Um, next. All right, the question Kelly came after Future said he won't be restricting. Question about Kelly came after Future said he won't be restricting his creativity or sense of his lyrics based on what listeners might be offended by. I'm not trying to offend no one when I do anything. He said I have no ill intentions, no ill will. All right, so... All right, so that's all he said. Now, here's my thing. I've already told y'all Future was canceled as far as I'm concerned. I'm not going to sit here and, you know, we sit here and, you know, black men want to throw baby mamas, you know, they want to throw black women into this baby mama stereotype. And, you know, saying, you know, stop popping out so many kids that, as if it take, don't take two to tango. 
And y'all niggas sit here and the same thing y'all talk about, you know, black women need to do better, this, that, and the other. Future is one of those motherfuckers. He's one of those same motherfuckers. If you're going to hold women to test, and this is why I say a lot of niggas, like, they got to be gay or something. Because the way they just, I hate bitches, I hate this, you know what I'm saying? Or, you know, not even bros over hoes, not even none of that. But just the way they talk about women, it makes you disgusted almost. You know what I'm saying? It makes me disgusted. You know what I'm saying? To hear some of the shit they talk about, you know what I'm saying? Or how they talk about some women. And it's just like, I'm not big on that pillow talk shit, you know what I'm saying? Unless we really, really cool like that. And, like, I'll probably come to you if something was wrong before I'd be like, Oh, yeah, bro, I banged the whole thing. It's just not my style. You know what I'm saying? But he's one of the problem areas in our community. And the same men that was sitting there and going on black women, you know, ghetto, ratchet, hood rat baby mamas or whatever they want to tie them into is the same men who uplift that shit or a Kodak Black. You know what I'm saying? Now, here's what I'm saying. Are uh, uh, my thoughts on what Future said. It's one thing to say, you know what I'm saying, the situation makes me sick. I said that myself on that video. You know what I'm saying? However, he pretty much just excused anything that Kelly's done. Like, his attitude was more so, like, let's go back and review, because I don't want to put words in nobody's mouth. Um, let me make sure. I, like I said, I don't want to put words in nobody's mouth. If I can find it, shit. God damn. It's so sad, y'all. I don't use Safari for nothing but porn. <laughs> All right, let me relax. Um, God damn, I can't find it anymore. But, I mean, I, I, you know, 2020, well, the memory in 2020. I'd say my memory is about, you know, 17, 19, let's say that. If we had to put it in eyeballs way or whatever. But his attitude basically seemed like, you know, when I think about what he was saying about, you know, there are things that are supposed to happen behind the scenes, da 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 this, that, and the other. I don't know if he's trying to say... It, his attitude just seems dismissive of the victims. And that's the last thing we need in this moment. I did not like it at all. I might Maybe I need to watch the interview with context. But then again, like I said, I said it jokingly. But when he said something about... When he started talking and grammatically, like, to the point where it's like, damn, bro. I was like, them drugs must be kicking in. So maybe it's that. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. But his tone of the talk, you know what I'm saying, the it'll go away, I, I didn't like that as a survivor. Because remember I said we're not using that word victim on my channel. We're going to use the word survivor. As a survivor of sexual assault, I didn't like that. I don't like that. Don't talk about it. it won't, it'll go away stuff. That's exactly what's wrong with our community right now. You know what I'm saying? So he's yet another problem factor in our community, as I pointed out to y'all now on this second video about him, at least in, in and this is just in 2019, if I'm not mistaken, because my other video is from 2019, if I'm not mistaken. Let me check. If not, it's in late uh, 2018. Oh, no, 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 because I did that video in December. Yeah, because that was a part of the Tyson's Corner. But nonetheless, it's been only a month, and he's given me another reason to tell y'all that he's a problem area or a problem factor in our community. All that popping our babies left and right, you know what I'm saying? Now, to add on this, this R. Kelly shit, you know what I'm saying? And the fact that, you know, he was asked right after he said he's not going to stifle his creativity for nothing or nobody, you know what I'm saying? The fact that he was asked, would you... If somebody asked you, or would you work with R. Kelly now, given the circumstances? If your immediate answer is not no, I already have a problem with you as a person. Because it does reflect on you. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, if he had been said something like, we've been seeing, you know, this stuff, or we've been new about it. You know, if he went for it for a, a, a reason of fake outrage, which I feel like Jay Cruz tried to give him that out. You know what I'm saying? And when he asked him about if there's fake outrage, he didn't even latch on to that and try to at least say that. You know, so he didn't stick up for them black girls at all. And that's really what it comes down to in this situation. That's why Bill Cosby has been called. Because he's fucking white women. You know what I'm saying? He was drugging and raping white women. You know what I'm saying? Uh, R. Kelly's been doing this to black girls and Latina girls. People don't give a shit about that. You know what I'm saying? Even though the Latinas and them uh, Puerto Ricans and shit, they love to think they're the next best thing to white. But in the end, as you can see, if I'm not mistaken, there was a couple um, Latina and a couple mixed girls on the um, documentary. 
the same thing happened to them. So you know what I'm saying? It's just it um it I didn't like the tone of the interview. You know what I'm saying? Maybe I need to watch it for context, but I'm just going off of what Pitchfork said right there and I'm going off of those are his exact words at the end of the day, context or not. Um had I had not exited out the screen, I probably would watch it real quick and see here, let me I'm being lazy because I can look it up real quick. Because it's one thing if something looks disturbed, if, if somebody looks disturbed or eerie when they talk about it. If it wants to work. You see future in the building, let's go. Uh, man, probably just after I made talk. watching it now and seeing his tone I still didn't you know I didn't feel it was coming from a place of oh it makes me you know I didn't feel it was no eeriness in and of itself I feel like you just don't give a shit at the end of the day you know what I'm saying and that's cool you don't have to you know what I'm saying um but when somebody shows you their true colors allow that to you know what I'm saying dictate how you treat them if you choose to support them from here on out you know what I'm saying there was no immediate no there was no I just didn't I didn't like that shit at all um but yeah, um, at the end of the day, allow him to do it. He he he's an artist, so he has that own right. He because he pretty much just flat out gave me his answer there. If I can't want that track, he'll give him the track. So let's not, you know, we ain't gonna um, stifle his creativity. His women, henny, henny, you know, going up. But, okay, creativity, but you know, let me let me know where that is. <laughs> but yeah, um, so y'all see what I'm saying? The tone, the conversation. It just like I said, I tried to watch it for context. I tried to give him a chance. I still didn't like, I, I didn't like how he worded that or what he said. And, and as I seen, as I predicted, when Jay Cruz, or when the person did say, do you think it's fake outrage? She was trying, or he, she, I don't know. It kind of looked a little confused. I'm not going to lie. I'm sorry. But they was trying to give him a way out. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay, the way you answered that was kind of, and you know what I'm saying? I could tell from the face they made. Um... But yeah, he sat there cool as hell, chill as hell with his sunglasses on, and he didn't give a shit. So at the end of the day, black women, y'all think about that the next time y'all support him, because he don't give a shit about what R. Kelly doing to them black girls in them dungeons. So, and that's all I got to say. You know what I'm saying? Niggas gonna support him regardless. You know what I'm saying? I'm just learning, you know, through a lot of these situations with this and the Lil Wayne shit, you know what I'm saying? And the um, Drake shit. Well, granted, Drake, well, nah, he kissed the girl in the mouth. If he had kissed her on the cheek, I would have been like, okay, well, she's 17, so you still. Or even if she's, you know, 15, a little innocent kiss on the cheek, like, oh my gosh, you know, Drake kissed me. She can tell when she get back to school, you know what I'm saying? He kissed me on the cheek, oh my gosh. You know what I'm saying? Granted, nowadays, I wouldn't do that because people are trying to make a Me Too out of everything. But if he had did that that long time ago, I would have gave him that. But he kissed that girl in the mouth and still tried to suck the tongue out of her face. But, I mean, where they was at, maybe 17 was legal. And maybe we just, you know, because society says 18. But a lot of places say 16, 17, 18. It differs around states. So he might have been legal in that state. But after she said 17 on stage, especially when the crowd's booing you, man, or booing her or whoever, you probably just kiss on the cheek and keep it moving. I think that's the only thing he did wrong in that situation. 
But with that being said, you know, all these dudes coming out, you know what I'm saying? Stuff coming out about them. It's just it's a whole bunch of niggas ain't shit that's going on and uh and just it, I'm not surprised if men continue to support these monsters and this that, and the other. You know what I'm saying? But with that being said, uh, and to be honest, you know, we can sit here and say, oh, well, isn't your mother dark skin or isn't, you know, your, don't you have little sisters? People don't give a shit. People don't give a shit. They don't. All these dark skin men, I told y'all on the last video, and I may catch flat for it because I'm not dark skin myself. People may feel like I can't talk about that, but at the end of the day, uh, ain't nobody going to stifle my creativity, man. <laughs> Sensational. Let me, <laughs> let me relax. But at the end of the day, it is the truth. You know what I'm saying? Colorism. It seems like to me, from what I've seen and my experience, it comes mostly from light-skinned women, dark-skinned men. And dark-skinned men, nine times out of ten, have a dark-skinned mother. So the fact that you have black family members, just like Chance said, the fact that you have black family members, what he should have said was black and dark-skinned. I really wish that would have that would have really hit the him on the nail. But Chance does, I feel like he do enough as a celebrity. He could just turn his black on, back on the black community, but he does not. And I, I really... You know what I'm saying? Acknowledge and appreciate him for that. You know what I'm saying? When I see shit like that, that makes me want to look at your music. Not, fuck a black bitch, I want to rap out. Nah, I don't, no. Uh, and then your music's not even that good for you to be saying shit like that. <laughs> um, but nonetheless, um, yeah, this video is getting too long and we're getting off topic. But yeah, um, like I said, black women, think about that next time you go to, you know, to a future concert or you want to go stream his music. Because if you stream his shit, you know what I'm saying? Even if you're just doing the Apple four ninety nine or well, that's for the students, but Apple nine ninety nine or whatever, however you listen to the music, odds are you, you support him unless you just straight up illegally download. But even if you watch it on YouTube, that's just, that's the support. That's monetary support. So with that being said, um uh take that how you will. Um and um I will catch y'all in the next video. Bye.